this is just a quick tutorial on saving you some time when you're hosting images. So when most people host images, they go to a hosting website, such as PhotoBucket, MyPhotoLodge, Flickr, and lots of other ones. But sometimes this is not free and takes a long time because you need to create an account and sign up and wait for a confirmation email and just to upload one image and it's just a pain. This is what really got on my nerves and I started uploading to my own servers because that was the best way that I knew of how to upload anything. And after a while, I had a bunch of clutter on my server and I started looking for another thing to do instead of hosting it all myself. I eventually came across a Firefox add-on called ImageBot. And as Geico would say, it's so easy a caveman could do it. And that's pretty much the case with ImageBot. So you just go to the link that's up above this video, or if you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the video description. And that will bring you to a page that looks like this the Firefox add on site. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see a picture like this, image bot. It might say a different numbers here by the time you get to watch this video because it could, the new version might be out by then. But either way, you just click Add to Firefox and click Install Now. I'm not going to do that right now because I already have it installed. But once you do that, you just restart Firefox and make sure that you have the ImageBot plugin enabled up in your tools and settings up here. I'm not going to go to it right now because it's going to take too much time. And up on your page somewhere, you should see an icon that says ImageBot. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger here so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. There it is, right there. ImageBot, right here. So, if you click on the little arrow next to the icon here, right there, right above my pointer, it'll bring down a list that says Float, Tab, Patcher, and Help. If you click on the Float button, ImageBot will open uh, in another window like a regular program. So right now I have Firefox open in this window and if I I could have another program open and it would open like that if I clicked on the float button. If you click on the tab button it'll bring it open into a new tab just like this. So I have Extreme Days in this tab and ImageBot over here. If I click on the patcher button that will bring me to a page that will patch ImageBot in case you're having trouble updating or sometimes even if you're having problems with ImageBot not working. Lastly, the help button. This is for any help that you need for anything that I have not covered or if you forgot how to do something or need some additional help. Now the next part actually using the plugin. I usually just open it in a new Firefox tab by either clicking the tab button or just clicking directly on the ImageBot icon. It will bring up something that looks like this. You'll see Upload Center, Template Editor, Settings, it's a drop down bar here, the Type Bar, and Bake your list and then log on to Image Shack or upload images. So, right now, down here in the bottom right corner, you should see upload images as I just mentioned. Click that and you will see a box pop up that looks like this. You find your image wherever it is on your computer. For now, I'm just going to use this. This is the watermark for my video and you just click it either highlight you can highlight multiple ones like that you click that and click open now down here you'll see that 
there's a new list here and as you can see I waited a few seconds and now it says done right here's a little preview of my uh, image that I just hosted it's not big because I have this window squished down so that you can see everything in more detail but it, it's not really important so oops, sorry about that right now you just right click anywhere on here I usually just click on the image and click the copy button there's other options you can do too like if you don't want it hosted on image shack you can upload it to photo bucket instead I really have seen no difference unless you have an account there or something you'd like to store things just click copy and now you have it copied so if I bring up a notepad window and I click paste you'll see right there is the URL to my image so I already have it copied but I'm just gonna cut it out of here close that now if I open up a new tab up here in Firefox and paste that in there and hit enter it brings me to my image so that's an actual web page dedicated to just my image whatever you host so if you need this for forums or something if you like you want to put an image in with your post or you're leaving a comment somewhere with an image you just put this in and it should bring up the image now this doesn't work on all sites now there are many other options in here there's settings all kinds of settings in here functionality settings also for photo bucket and image shack two different things for that there's sorting over here and you can log in down here there's tons of other stuff you can do in here I personally have not even really messed around with it because I don't need to uh, it works for me what I need right now and that's all I need so if you'd like to learn some of that stuff I might do a tutorial in the future about it. You could leave a comment or something if you really would like me to do that. But I'm just going to leave it to you to mess around with it and figure it out yourself because it's not really necessary to know how to use it. But again, if you really want me to make another video, then leave a comment somewhere wherever you're watching this and let me know.